All right, we are off kicking off our 20.5 week. I'm off to Boston right now. I'm gonna do the open workout announcement, then going to Queens, doing a workout over at Dutch Kills, then 516 on Saturday, cross to Port Chester on Sunday. <clears throat> so it is gonna be an action-packed couple of days. Uh, maybe I'll actually try to keep up in video things the whole time. We'll see, probably not. I'll try my best. Um, yeah. I'm literally shipping off to Boston right now. Okay, I'm here, Reebok. Fancy little production studio they have. Time to put some lights together, get all this stuff set up, because I have to take pictures in one hour and 20 minutes. Cool. We're set up. We had a bit of a battery crisis, but it turns out that this building actually has access to like the greatest hardware store ever. And I was able to find the very unique battery I actually needed to make my triggers work. Kind of amateur hour that I didn't have a battery for this, but I kid you not, I have never changed this battery, which is also probably why I should have known I needed to change that battery. But now we have two, so we have backups now. Uh, I just set up my lights. We're doing super, it's not even actually simple headshots. They're fairly good headshots. Um, we're going big beauty dish there. We have softbox in the corner and then the octabox over there. You may ask, why do I have an octabox and a softbox in the same setup? And the reason is because I didn't realize that I grabbed the octabox and not the second softbox. It really doesn't make a difference because it's just a little hair light creating some separation. And these are just kind of bright, simple, clean headshots. They don't need a ton of styling or grids or whatever. So honestly, there's the light power is pretty low on that one anyway. So we're just going for it. But check out how cool the space is. They have the whole, it's not seamless, it's just the entire wall. It's a warped wall, it's not even paper. It's actually built into the wall. Um, pretty awesome. And yeah, we're gonna take some pictures. That is a wrap, 20.5. Headed over to the car, which is like a mile away right now. Um, load up all the gear, back to the hotel. Have to finish the edit. And then uh, have to then do a video edit uh, and put that online. But all in all, awesome. By far the most challenging open workout I've ever had to shoot because there is no real race there. So that was something. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, awesome. Great night tonight. Off to the car.
we made it. Got through four days of shooting, 20.5. I've got to say, I don't really want to shoot that workout anymore. I did over 650 miles. Thursday was Reebok. We were up in Boston, had an awesome time. We did a headshot shoot and then did the open announcement workout. Andy Thor's daughter, Pat Vellner, heading off, battling each other and kind of a weird workout, super fun. Uh, wrapped that up, immediately drove back to Long Island the next morning. Uh, wound up getting crushed in traffic and then stopped by the house for a minute and then went off to Queens, was at CrossFit Dutch Kill for their workout. Then uh, wrapped that up, went home, woke up in the morning, went to CrossFit 516, spec did the whole photo thing there, did a little video, even did the workout myself, which I nearly finished. Um, and then finally got a chance to catch up with the boys and the wife for a little bit, and then headed back out Sunday morning, CrossFit Porchester, to finish off four days of shooting in a row, whole bunch of traveling. Um, you know, what can I say? I had an awesome time, as always. I like doing this, so that's why it makes it very easy for me. Uh, let's nerd out on some technical things. Uh, the entire time I was shooting with a Nikon Z5 and Nikon Z6 and going back and forth, um, what was very interesting, because I was literally shooting the exact same thing in four different places. So that kind of back and forth between cameras, uh, and like I've been a big proponent of using the Z6 all the time and replacing my D5 a lot. I will say for events like this, I did lean on my D5 much heavier simply because I was three out of four days sitting at between ISO 8000 and 10,000 for every single shot. Now that's not to say that the Z6, the Z6 can't handle that ISO, but if I am delivering to clients and I have the D5 just sitting next to me, I'm gonna use that for that extreme high SO shooting just continuously. Um, what I also noticed on the Z6 is when I am in these much, much, much darker environments, the eye autofocus does not work anywhere near as well as a regular continuous focus does. Uh, so that's not saying that the Z6 focus doesn't keep up, it's that specifically once you have that eye autofocus going on, you will see a noticeable lag whereas you wouldn't see that in a better lighting environment. And uh, I figured that out when on my final day I was in one of my favorite gyms, CrossFit Porchester, which is rung by windows. So I'm usually shooting at around ISO 2000 to 3200 the whole time during that shoot. And it was like the Z6 had a new life because I was still going back and forth. And with the Z6, I was back to being able to use that continuous eye autofocus all the time and getting really, really, really good results uh, because I'm literally shooting the exact same workout. So like, a well, good example, row tracking. So if someone was on a rower, moving away from me, moving closer to me, and I had the eye autofocus on, it was making an attempt to make that work when I'm shooting at ISO 10,000, but the results weren't perfect. When I was now in a much better lit environment shooting at ISO 3200, the eye autofocus tracked much better, much, much, much better. Um, so that was cool. Um, you know, again, it comes down to knowing your equipment, knowing your tools, knowing where they'll work and where they won't. It's not that one system is perfect and one system is garbage. It's that you just need to know how they work. And I had a lot of people ask me actually over the course of four days talking about like equipment and nerding out on things. And like the biggest message I try to get across to people is the gear doesn't matter. It's more about knowing how to use it because equipment's right, cameras right now are incredible. They're amazing. They work really, really well and they're very cheap. So know the equipment you have, know how to shoot with it, and you'll have a good time with it. So that wraps up four days of shooting. I have about uh, another day or so of editing left in the office. Um, and then probably once all that's done, I'll actually edit this video. Uh, yeah, so cool. Can't wait for, no, I'll be honest with you, I don't want another open this year. I'm good with this finally being done. Uh, what's up next? Uh, I got some CrossFit stuff coming up. I uh, have a couple projects in the works. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. Cool. Stay tuned for the next one.